Yo, what's up everyone, welcome back to the channel, my name is Plio and today we're gonna talk about the new crossover banner Final Fantasy VI and also some pools and I'm just doing some free pools, let's have a look, Catlas and T-Zero, Catlas physical defense down, T-Zero um, is from Vincent, is really good for attack and physical attack potency, really good as a sub weapon, we got so many Free pulls, this is amazing. So far, what are your thoughts on the crossover event? I haven't had the time to play, but I was thinking about this banner, and this is the thing I want to cover today. Sorry I'm not in my setup. Bramble, really good. Bramble is physical attack up high, right? And so in the crossover event, I think something key that we need to keep in mind is, first of all, let's look into the past. In the past, we have seen that Crossover banners can return. We have seen that with the Final Fantasy IX crossover. And when they return, it might be that weapons will improve with time. So that's really good because we know that there are some little tiny chances that weapons will get better. So that's really interesting when we approach this crossover and when we start thinking about how many pulls do I want to do, right? So that's like something to like start to set the expectation. Nice, Spirit and Shuriken is really good. Um, physical attack and ice potency. Also, th these step up draws generally are really good. Well, I really like this whale banner. I'm gonna pull for it. Eh? 300 red crystals for whales is really good value for what you could get and we got Cephidot. let's have a look into that uh tempest no blue bramble blue bramble so physical uh earth damage and earth down if i remember correctly right now let's focus now time to focus on what we came here to talk about which is terra outfit so far i really like this outfit because she really looks like Terra. I, recently, I started playing Final Fantasy VI. I have never played Final Fantasy VI before, so I'm pretty new to it. But she looks like the, uh, the improved version. Of course, like Terra is like a pixel version, but she the, she has the color. She has like the outfit resembles Terra in the game. Um, so far, I'm really liking Final Fantasy VI. By the way, it has like a really good story that is about to develop. I have been. I have, played for like 16 hours, maybe 12, 12 to 16 hours. So I haven't seen much, but so far I'm really liking it. I also like the outfit. I think she looks a bit of like a fancy dress. Quite, it, it feels like we are back to, I mean, it feels really appropriate for Halloween. <laughs> um, it feels like she had a bit of a, like, um, circus person. Um, anyhow, I think, I think she looks, Similar to Terra, but it's not like the best outfit that I have seen in Iris. Now, let's look into the weapon, which is the most important thing probably in this banner. Terra wrote, at max level, at level 120, it comes with 446 physical attack, 660 magical attack, 264 heal. So not a lot of heal. Um, the C ability, it costs 40 dBs, and it deals 750% magical non-elemental damage. And this is the first time that we have four abilities combined. This is the opening of a new season in Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis. Four abilities combined in the C ability. This is insane value. This is huge. Fire resistance decrease. Ice resistant decrease and thunder resistant decrease, all of them to high. Really, really good. Now, the R abilities HP 62 is a lot, and buff and device extension 39 is also really good because this weapon, even though you might not be playing with Iris, but having this weapon in your DPS could be extremely useful to, you know, increase your buffs, increase your HP. Although I have to say, HP lately, I'm glad that this has 62 points, but lately HP is not being so important. The key thing lately is to have either physical defense up high or, or a lot of physical defense or a lot of magical defense, depending on your 
the enemy that you're fighting. Now, the S abilities, it's also important that we look into that because the last one have Cure All, meaning that we can play with this weapon in our main hand and then use Materia to cure all the party, similar to what we saw in the anniversary with the Bahamut Rod. So really useful weapon for like a secondary healer that we could bath full of our abilities for healing so that Iris could still heal for quite a lot of healing and really help us to support our party. So she becomes like a really good offensive healer. You know, she always plays that kind of role. And this is even more apparent now that she can help bring in so many elemental imperials. This is extremely, extremely powerful. For me personally, if we look into the overboost sticks, we already get the benefit of fire, ice, and thunder high. So I think OB6 could be already a good investment. But um, also, if we look into um, overboost 5, so like basically one copy, you will see that it already does fire, resistant, ice, and thunder down to mid and then on the second shot it could go down to high which is extremely powerful so like just having a single copy of this unique weapon it will be really really good for our accounts a single copy is enough because you know you can slowly level that up and then at some point you will get to overboot six now let's look into the outfit terra's garb physical and magical ward is the first time that we are seeing this ability Buff on the buff extension plus is something that we have seen before. Physical and magical ward. This is something that I was like, this is what I was referring before. Physical and magical defense plus 15%. It's huge value because lately HP is not so important. What is really important is that we bring a high level of physical defense or magical defense depending on the enemy. Now, having both combined in one outfit is extremely powerful. So she can be that offensive healer even more with this outfit. It's not the same as Bahamut Rod or the Bahamut outfit that she got in the anniversary where she was really helping the team bring even more damage. But um, in situations where you are fighting like maybe like a crash fight or maybe you really want to receive less damage to improve your score in a ranking event, for example, then having this set of outfits are extremely useful. So I really like this one. I think it could be one of my default outfits and also brings, you know, buff on the office extension plus. And because it has the plus, it's a different R ability. So that's extremely powerful as well. So overall, I think this crossover brings a lot of value. And the good thing is that we don't need to invest heavily. Just a single copy of the weapon will be enough. And for the outfit, it's done in one page. So it's like 30k blue crystals around those lines, maybe less if we are lucky. Ideally, like normally we are lucky-ish and it's like maybe 20 something k so yeah now the key the key question is we have seen that this banner brings a lot of value should you pull on this banner i will strongly advise not to pull yet because you know if we can see here it ends in december 5th um so i will strongly advise to wait until you have seen at least another one more banner, or maybe maybe two more banners from the um, anniversary. Of course, if you're a Kraken or a Whale and you know for sure that you're going to pull on everything, or maybe you are an Aerith main, then of course, like this banner is really good value. So you are not, it's not a bad investment. And this weapon and this outfit, they are really going to help you in the long run. Now, because we're introducing finally this concept of like this, like, Roll compression is so big that now we have four different abilities. I will wait simply because imagine what the Kameha Tifa is going to do. Imagine what Cloud is going to do. Imagine Sephiroth. And because you already have um, Bahamut Roll from Aerith, I don't know if you really need this level of Imperial. Um, or if you could play with other options, you know, it's always good to look at options. Also, if you decided to play with Aerith, all right, so let's look at Kamura one, for example, you could play with 
Kamura 1 as primary or secondary, doing physical attack up high, magical defense increase high. After that, you could bring Terra or Bahamut Rod. If you bring Terra, then you need to compromise on one of these weapons. So I think Kamura 1, for example, was extremely valuable. I don't know if we will ever see again another Monster Hunter crossover, at least the Final Fantasy 1, Final Fantasy 9, we have seen that it came back. Umbrella is becoming slowly one of my favorite, to be honest, because having magical defense to all allies, I have been using this one in my first slot, it's extremely useful, and then I could use Umbrella in my first slot, and then on my secondary, I could bring Terra if I need to bring some Imperial, or I could bring Kamura. I unfortunately don't have Bahamut Rod. I think that was a massive mistake from my part. I was waiting until the last day and then I <laughs> I didn't pull on that one. So I lost that one. It's a massive thing that is hindering a lot of my account. But you might have it. And then, yeah. Iris is definitely meta. Iris is the healer for 2025. For sure for the end of 2024. And for 2025, Iris is going to be strongly powerful. Snowflake as well. Let's not forget about this. Snowflake that can help all your magical teams. Uh, so you could play with a Snowflake on the first uh, slot or, or in the secondary. And then the secondary could be Terra. So you could do a lot of damage. And this is going to be really useful in ranking events, for example. Also, like there are like combinations with Wind or combinations with um, Fire. For example, if you decide to use... Or, or healing, right? You could also play with healing, like the classic fairy tale, if you need more healing. That would be really useful. So, Iris is becoming Mythic Rod as well. Uh, magical Defense up, Physical Defense up. This is quite legacy, but it still works. The classic egg stuff also help us with the Cura. You know, the last slot also help us bringing healing. So, she is clearly that offensive healer the magical dps and offensive healer she's a really good unit i will rate her easily like s plus tier right now if we were going to do a ranking tier list uh you know iro is also really good in this case it breaks circle sigil it doesn't help healing but it could do a lot of damage um so yeah there are many 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 good options and also like remember that you still have the angel Feature banner, limited banner, actually, limited. So Angia will go away. Um, overall, we have really good options if you decide to pull. But I, again, I would strongly advise to wait, unless you are really a, like an Aerith main or you have it like 100% clear in your mind. Wait, because Tifa, Kamehameha, and Cloud, and Sephiroth, one of those two could be like also extremely broken. It's the first time that we are seeing weapons with four abilities. The R abilities are also extremely powerful. So wait and see, unless you know you are clear about your investment. And this is it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. Really, really appreciate if you will share with us what are your thoughts. Like, do you are you gonna pull? Are you gonna buy one of these new items that we can see in the shop? Are you gonna support the crossover? Are you still playing the game? Are you hating the game? Like, let us know in the comments so that we, you know, share our experience. Also, share this with someone that loves Final Fantasy VI. Maybe it's a good time to try Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis now that the VI is here. And this is it. Thanks a lot for watching. Until the next time, if you like this type of content, please consider doing a like and subscribe. Cheerios! Bye-bye!